A Trip to Woodland, retold by Jane and Sarah Brearley, illustrations by Tony Wolf. The Treasure of the Deep. Nettle's sour temperament had not made her very popular in Gnomeland. She took to wandering great distances from her gourd house, preferring her own company. She explored every nook and cranny of Gnomeland. Nettle even stumbled across the elixir Apricot was busy concocting as a feral surprise for the gnomes and woodlanders. All of the fairies except Pinecone intended to return to Fairyland, but they were living a flask of fairy nectar as a souvenir. Anyone who drank it would reveal the sweetest side of their nature. While Apricot had her back turned, Nettle stuck her finger in the flask and tasted the elixir. Delicious! She was about to sneak another mouthful when Apricot cried. Get out of there! That's not for you, Nettle fled. After many days, she reached the white wasteland where it was always winter. Her wooden leg creaked as she crunched over the frozen surfaces. When she stared down through the thin film of ice covering the ocean, she could see every detail of the seabed. A distant glimmer caught her eye. Five huge pearls wink up at her. Nettle's heart began to beat faster. Never had such a treasure been discovered in all of Fairyland. She came to the edge of the ice. Before she realized what she was doing, she took a deep breath and dived in. The cold water chilled her to the bone, but there were the pearls and much more. Necklaces, gems, precious jars, rings, and crowns glinted in the flickering light of the seabed. Suddenly, Nettle realized she didn't feel cold at all, nor had she any trouble breathing underwater. Not only had her clothes and wooden leg vanished, her good leg was also gone. In its place was a long silvery tail. Nettle caught sight of her reflection in the pearly surface of a shell. She was utterly transformed. A pair of seahorses approached her and deeped respectfully. Welcome, old guardiana of the pearls. But I'm Nettle, she protested. And who is Nettle? they inquired. She is, I mean, I'm the purple fairy, replied Nettle. With a wooden leg, she glanced down at her tail and realized she would never convince them of her true identity. We do not know this nettle of whom you speak, declared the seahorses. You have been chosen to be Gorgiana of the Pearls. It is an honor bestowed only on the sweetest natured fairies. Nettle gazed about her. The coral gleamed with rainbow colors and the sea anemones wafted gently to the rhythm of the waves. Here, everything was beautiful and tranquil. She didn't feel a bit like her old self. All her nastiness seemed to have disappeared along with her wooden leg. I'm happy here, she realized. And that is how Nettle came to be Gorgiana of the Pearls.